everybody, so today I'm going to be doing another book haul, so my summer book haul number two. Excited about that. Uh, I've been recently going to little bookstores and going to my local public library to buy books. And I've got a haul of those for you all today. I hope you enjoy this video. So I'm going to go ahead and get on with it. Anna Claire, um, as you already know, is going to be coming in here and filming a little segment with me because we bought some books together and we want to talk about that. So let's get started. The first four books that I'm going to be talking about first are books that I bought at my local public library all for under six dollars which is amazing and I'm going to go ahead and show you all what they are because they're in my hands. So book one I bought is Copper Sun by Sharon Draper. I love this book so much. If you want to know a little bit more about this book go watch my A to Z book tag. It's in the last one of the last um, few minutes of that video and when you see me get emotional. The next book I'm going to be talking about is a book that I've already read and I've read Copper Sun. Uh, Waterfell Elephants by Sarah Grun is a book that I read when I was in middle school so it's been a while but I really enjoyed it. I'm trying to remember, my aunt lent me the book. I saw this for like 50 cents and I bought it because I need to add to my bookshelf and I want to represent more books that I've read than more than uh, ones that I haven't read. So, really a book. I highly recommend it. The movie's really good too. I don't remember who the actors are, but whatever. So this next book I'm going to show you all is a book that I saw randomly, didn't know anything about it. I didn't even read the back cover of the story and all that. I just grabbed it and bought it because it looked cool. It is A Bud of Flowers by Anita Amira Zavani. Amira Zavani, I hope I said it right. Um, I, I only bought it for the cover, but the cover is amazing. And something about a carpet and she, her father let her buy a carpet and she wanted to create a backstory for the carpet so she created this story about the carpet. Looks interesting. Hope you enjoyed reading that. This next book I bought, um, I've never heard about. My mom has seen the movie adaptation and never read the book, but she said that the movie is amazing. It's The Prince of Tides by Pat, Con Pat Conroy. Um, I know nothing about this, and I'm, but I'm looking forward to seeing it. And my mom loved the movie so much. My grandmother loved the movies too. Looking forward to reading this. These four books are the four books that I bought for under six dollars at my local public library. These next five books I bought myself from the book shelter, which is a little used bookstore in downtown Lake Wills. My, I went with my sisters, my grandma, my other grandma, and I bought four books. And my grandmother bought me a book that she's loved and she's read and I've just loved. And she said that I will love it, so I'm going to show you guys that too. So the first book that I bought at the book shelter is The Other Bowline Girl by... I'm going to say this wrong. Do you say Papilla or Fafilla or... <laughs> Philippa. Philippa. <laughs> Philippa. And of course you're sitting right there watching me. So this isn't weird. So oh. Philippa Gregory. <laughs> I don't know if it's the right. But I bought this. This is about Anne Boleyn. And if you know anything about King Henry, King Henry VIII, you will know who Anne Boleyn is. I'm not going to get into it because I've been here all day. I love English history. My sister Emily was actually going to buy this for me for my birthday in a few weeks, and she didn't, so I grabbed it, not knowing that she was going to buy it for me, and I was checking it out, and she goes, oh, you're buying that? And I was like, yeah. She goes, dang it. I was going to get it for you for your birthday. And I was like, I know nothing about this, because I don't even know what I just grabbed. Take it back. And yeah, it was kind of weird, but, you know. The next book that I bought, if you watch my A to Z book tag, I mentioned it to you. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it. Anyway, so it is Jane Austen by Pride and Prejudice. I, why do I keep doing that? You said um, Jane Austen by Pride and Prejudice. So I would do that if I were you. I love you. And <laughs> I'm just going to like tear the card out and put this back in. It is 
Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I recently read this in May and I loved it. Um, hard to get into and hard to understand but I uh, listened to the audiobook and audiobook helped me out so much. I had to give my, I had to give the copy that I was using back to my aunt but I saw this for three dollars I think and I grabbed it because I want my own copy of it. Love it. So these next two books that I bought, I honestly did not want to buy anything that I already had, but then I saw these two uh, editions of Jane Eyre and I grabbed them. I don't care. <laughs> um, so now I have five copies, and they these next two copies are so cool. I love this one. This they're both used. This blue one um, is what is it? It's a Barnes and Noble's classics classics classic whatever um and it has i guess someone highlighted yeah someone highlighted it in it and wrote in it and it doesn't matter it's not very much so that's kind of cool to me because it's i now i know that another person loved it i don't have to write in the book this next one is so tiny it's so tiny this was a dollar a dollar and the text is so tiny but it's beautiful. It's old. This is definitely older. Not as old as this one, which is extremely, extremely old and faded. Does it smell good? What does it smell like? It smells like paper. Old paper. This is a Signet Classic, so it's different, but cool. So those are the... F oh, no, I didn't finish. Flan, flan. Flan, flan, flan. Robo whiskey. Robo whiskey. Robo whiskey. Robo whiskey. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this next book is The Story of Edgar Sotel by David. I'm not going to pronounce that because my sister and I just stood here for over a minute trying to pronounce it and we can't. Robo whiskey. Robo whiskey. Anyway. My name is the amazing Mr. Bobinski. <laughs> anyway, so my grandmother loves this book so much and so she bought this for me and I'm so happy she did because I'm really looking forward to reading. I know nothing about it, but it's huge. It's not the longest book I've read, but it's almost five, almost 500. <gasps> I thought it was a spider. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had a heart attack. A I little just... over 550 pages. <laughs> so I'm really excited to read those, and I'm going to stop now. Okay, I have my Anna Claire in here, so. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna haul the uh, Inf Infernal Devices trilogy, which is the prequel to the Mortal, Mortal Instruments. Instruments. And as you know, I know nothing about this. So um, I've read the first two books, and I'm on the third one actually. I've not read any of them, but I'm looking forward to reading them. So I'm gonna read those at some point in my life. But Anna Claire and I, we were at the bookstore, and we saw. I saw. She saw. Almost the entire, yeah. So the only thing, thing that's missing from the Mortal the book. Instrument series is the first book. Uh, we got all of these books, hardback and paperback, for eighteen dollars. A single hardback book is eighteen dollars. So I mean, this this one right here, this third one is that's the book three. It says that it was sixteen dollars on sale. Sixteen dollars on sale, and this was its actual prices. $18. The actual price is $18. We bought this for $4? Yeah, hard bucks are $4. The whole thing. $18. $18. Yeah, so we kind of really lucked out. Yeah, we have, because we, uh, uh, no. It's not, I really wanted to get the one that um, would have a mural like this. If you put it in but a line you know on your bookshelf and make a really big mural. But you know what? This was the cheapest, and we did not expect this. Yeah, the one so I went on Amazon, the one that was like this, like 50 bucks. Yeah. So, I am so excited to be reading these. I've heard so many booktubers rave about them. I want to read them so bad, and you're welcome for putting that in straight. Anywho, I'm so excited to read these. I've heard... Isn't this a movie? Or a TV series? It is a TV. I've heard that it's called The Shadow Hunters. Your little thing. So later this week, as in a few days, I'm getting my hair cut and dyed purple. Well, I had purple like um like Lane and Gilmore Girls whenever she went like full purple. Like it's not like that. It's just you know like a streak. I didn't even I don't remember that. I remember she was like so good. She's like 
running through the streets because her head was on fire, basically. Yeah. I love Gilmore uh, Girls. If you go on, like, Pinterest and stuff, you can see a bunch of those Gilmore Girl, like, workouts. I've actually done a friend's one and it worked. Hey, y'all, by the way, she's now taller than me. Bye, you foolish. I'm gonna cry. I'm kidding, no, that little girl. It's okay. Now you're gonna go, I'm older. We'll be like, I'm younger and taller. I have to go now for the TBR for uh, summer. Stop! Oh my god, stop! Wait, uh, wait, wait. Uh, uh, no! Stop! <laughs> this is disgusting. Disgusting. Wait, I can crack my ankle. Hold no! Oh, stop! Anyway, guys, I'm done talking. Wait, and we have iced coffee. It's vanilla. Dang it. Ow. Okay, good. I'll show you finish. Bye. She's leaving. I hope you all enjoyed my sister. Obviously, she's crazy. Thank you all so much for watching my second summer book haul. I like doing book hauls. This is kind of fun. I should do more of them. But I'm not going to do that anymore because now I have way too many books. Seventeen more books. Eighteen more books because we're missing one of them. But. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go look out for other videos coming up in the future. And happy reading this summer. Bye.